my favorite wildflowers is the misleadingly named bearded beggar ticks. Its scientific name is Biden's Aristosa, so we usually just call it Biden's. It's a native member of the sunflower family that grows in wet meadows and marshes and roadside ditches. We have a fair amount of it at the garden and it also grows out at Mason Farm. It blooms in uh, early fall here in September and into October and it produces these buttery yellow flower heads that um, float on tall stems and it, when you get close to it, it just feels like a cloud and you're just surrounded and it feels like you are a bee. Like this must be what it's like to be a tiny insect flying amongst this like glorious cloud of flowers. One of my favorite spring wildflowers is the May apple. It has broad leaves that grow close to the ground and you have to hunt for the wildflower that blooms late March, early April. The flower is directly under those leaves so you have to kind of look around for it and it's a wonderful surprise when you find it. Those leaves you might say are at about turtle height and turtles help disperse the seeds. Hey everybody, this is Becca and my favorite wildflower right now, it changes every week, is Marshalia obaveda, uh, also known as Piedmont Barbara's Buttons, and it's a great spring blooming wildflower. Got it growing here in my front yard with a bunch of columbine. It loves full sun and it's super drought tolerant, so it's a great one to have uh, for those dry hot summers we've got. One of my favorite wildflowers is the curly hood. I like it so much because it totally changes personality, if you will, throughout the growing season. It starts out in April as this little tiny delicate flower, kind of shaped like a bell, little curly cues at the end of each petal. And then a couple months later, it has totally changed into this big seed head that is fuzzy and coppery and it almost looks like a tarantula. So it seems like it can't possibly even be the same plant, but it is. So check it out. Hi, so one of my favorite native wildflowers is Polygala lutea, which is also called orange milkwort. Uh, this neat little plant grows in wet, sandy soils down in the coastal plain in boggy areas. Um, and in the summer, it produces these really cool clusters of orange flowers um, that are almost like little puffballs on top of the stems, uh, which is why another one of its common names is bog cheetos. And another reason I like this plant is because its seeds are ant dispersed. If you ever have the chance to look at the seeds uh, of this species under the microscope, you'll see teeny tiny little eliasomes, which is what the ants are attracted to, and they carry away the seeds. Hey there! My favorite wildflower is the trout lily and this is what is left of the best trout lily that we found this spring. A uh, little kind of uh, pyramid shaped balloon of the seed head. The rest of the plant's gone dormant which is why I think they're so cool. They come up and do their whole thing before May. <laughs> 